the Fed says it doesn't have any idea. Why are the bonds, you know, why are some doing better than others? We can't figure it out. They say it could be the recession, could be we're printing too much money. We're not. I'll help clear it up next. Well, Timothy Geithner is in China. I'd like more, please. Just a little, little more, please. He's, uh, this is the first time he's been there since he's the Treasury Secretary. He told a crowd at Peking University that, quote, Chinese financial assets are very safe. The students laughed. Angel Robinson is with the Campaign for Liberty, an organization defending American principles and individual uh, liberty. Angel, I have to ask you first, what is the Campaign for Liberty? Is this one of the, because, I mean, is it f funded by, like, the anti-George Soros or what? No, no, no. What is it? it? It's a grassroots organization uh, focus, focused on making sure that we preserve liberty, uh, defend the Constitution, uphold the Constitution, make sure that we hold the representatives accountable to the people. We just want to make sure that we, if we have this contract with the government, they should be following the, con the contract. Okay. H.R. 1207, what is it? H.R. 1207 is the Federal Reserve Transparency Act of 2009. It is an amendment to the original uh, Federal Reserve Act of 1913. Uh, in the original bill, the audit of the Fed was li severely limited. Uh, basically, you, could, you can't audit the Fed unless the Fed says, okay, come, come look, come check and see what we're doing, make sure that everything's okay, which, you know, they're not going to do. Uh, you're also, you also <laughs> can't find here. Yeah. Uh, you, they won't let us know what type of discussions and agreements they make with foreign governments, and that's really important to know. We don't know if the decisions they make are politicized. Uh, if they put the monetary policy stamp on it, it's basically secret, and, and we have no idea why they're making the decisions and what effects they'll have on the economy. The Federal Reserve ha has a Federal Reserve has a mandate to protect the dollar and to uh, stabilize All the right. economy. They haven't done either of those, and so we definitely need to find oh. out what's going on. Okay. All right. Angel, I have to ask you, I, I think the Federal Reserve is a nightmare. Yeah. Um, it's just a nightmare. Um, but I have to ask you, if, how did you get involved? Because people who are into let's abolish the Fed, they're all geeks. You're a mom. You're like a normal human being. <laughs> How did you get involved? Right. Uh, through the uh, presidential uh, elections, uh, I started to pay a lot more attention. What was the war and the economy on the decline? Uh, it made sense that I should find out what's going on in, in my country. And so I started to read. I read a great book, uh, uh, The Creature from Jekyll, I Jekyll Island, which I advise everyone to read yeah. because it is great at uh, letting you know how this uh, creature came to being and, and exactly how it affects the economy. And the more I looked into it, the more I said, well, this isn't right. Uh, they are operating on an economic model that doesn't make sense uh, to me. And I'm just an average American. I'm not an expert on anything. But, um, yeah. but a lot I of this is Common you, sense. I, 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 yeah, let, let me let me let me just say this to America. Um, as she's uh, Angel is not a. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're not a spokesperson or anything for this organization. You were somebody that were you were in our studio audience, um, and you, you got a tattoo on your arm. You're just cool, right. and you asked a question about the Fed, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, and you, so you're not a spokesman. You are just. I'm putting you on television because you're an average mom. Right. I'm a precinct coordinator. Anybody can be a precinct coordinator. Go to campaignforliberty.com and sign up, and you'll have the opportunity to talk to your about things that are important to you. If you live in the New York area, go to nyccfl.com. But no, I'm not a spokesperson for anything but liberty. This is my country, and I want to make sure that uh, I am encouraging my neighbors to uh, pay attention, get informed about what's going on, and then take action.